Hey, what's up everybody? This is Armand DB from ArmandDB.com and today we're going to talk about testosterone and growth hormone. So a lot of people come to me and ask me, you know, what can they do to get in better shape? You know, their diet is great, their workouts are amazing, their cardio is good, their supplementation is good, but they're lacking something. They're trying to figure out why they're not getting in shape like everybody else. One of the main reasons is your hormone levels. You have testosterone, you have growth hormone, you have IGF, you have thyroid, you have estrogen. Um, today I'm going to touch on a couple and then on another video I'll touch on another couple. Um, so today let's talk about testosterone and growth hormone. For testosterone, you know, most doctors um, are familiar with it now. Let's say 10 years ago or even five, they weren't, you know, worried about keeping you in the high normal levels. They were just worried about if you're in the levels. So if you're on the low normal, that's still low and it's not good. You're not going to reap the benefits of, you know, feeling good and, you know, looking good or burning fat. So one concern I have a lot of people ask me, if I start this hormone replacement therapy, will I have to stay on it the rest of my life? And the answer is yes. You're replacing your body with a hormone that it's not making of or lack of making of. This, you know, worries a lot of people and people they're like, well, I don't want to take, you know, this the rest of my life. But what you have to understand, your body's not producing it like it used to, or you're deficient in it. That's why there are these prescriptions for you to take. Um, monitored by, by a doctor, it's, you know, it's, it's safe. Um, the doctor will go over exactly how it works. Um, and the pharmacist will show you how to self-administer. Um, a lot of, there's a lot of, um, you know, clinics that will make you come in and get your injections once a week or twice a week. And honestly, that's not called for. And it's, you know, it, you know, it's a waste of money and time. So find a doctor in your area that will prescribe you, uh, you know, prescribe it to you. And then at the pharmacy, they can, you know, show you how to administer it. You know, it is injectable. So, um, I mean, a lot of people are afraid of needles. So, I mean, some might need to go to the, you know, hormone replacement clinics. The creams, I don't advise. The pellets are good, testosterone pellets. The creams, they, I don't like them at all. Um, I've used them before. I don't like them. Everybody absorbs things differently. If you have a kids or, you know, if you have a girlfriend or wife and you're, you know, rubbing this, you know, uh, gel on your shoulders and it touches them, you know, their testosterone levels can raise and one person can take the gel and their testosterone levels raise this much. And it's just too inconsistent. Stick to, with the injectable. They usually prescribe testosterone sipinate. Um, here's my bottle straight from the pharmacy. It says my name on it. Doctor prescribed. Um... And when they prescribe you testosterone, you know, they'll check your estrogen levels in your blood work too. So sometimes the testosterone can elevate your estrogen, so they'll prescribe you an uh, anti-estrogen, such as a Remedex. Um, you know, and your doctor will go over all this and the side effects before you choose this route. The next one's growth hormone. Um, you know, it doesn't really matter age now. I mean, I've had clients that were, had never touched hormones before, get their levels checked, and their growth hormone levels are low. Um, what, what's going on with the growth hormone levels? People are reading online and, you know, these sites and from, in, you know, in China or local buddies to buy from, um, kits of growth hormone for like $200 a piece. You're getting garbage. It's trash. It's not real. Um, it doesn't matter. Blue top, green top, red top, black top. That doesn't matter. You know, it's annoying when people say, oh, well, they're blue tops, what do you think? Or I get an email or like, it doesn't matter. I could go buy the bottles and put whatever caps I want on myself and put whatever contents. I can put freaking baking powder in there and sell it for $200 a kit. You know, it's not growth hormone you're getting. And if it is, it's not the dose it's supposed to be. Let's say there's supposed to be 10 IUs in the bottle. I can guarantee you there's not 10 IUs in the bottle. There might be one to two IUs. Um, I even tell those people to, you know, get, go get their growth hormone levels checked if they're on the growth hormone level. It's, and if it's still low, you're taking fake growth hormone. The problem with prescription growth hormone, it's, uh, you know, a couple thousand dollars. It's, 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 it's very expensive. But 
I tell people like this. If you're buying growth hormone off the street for, let's say, $200 a kit, and it's all fake, and you're taking you know, crazy amounts, like 8 to 10 I use a day, what's the point? You're throwing your money, $200 a month or whatever you're spending. You can invest in real growth hormone from your doctor. Know what you're putting in your body. Know what's safe. Here's what the growth hormone box looks like most of the time. Um, the contents in it, two packages. This is sterile water. Um, throw this away. This um, You don't mix with your growth hormone. Uh, you want bacterial static water. That makes it last longer. You're only using the sterile water if you're like HIV positive or have full-blown AIDS because they're using the bottle like every day or every two days. This is the powder it comes in. There's seven bottles with 18 IUs in each bottle. Um, I, you know, this is real growth hormone. So I, some people come to me and say they're taking eight IUs of growth hormone a day. I'm like, where did you get it from? They're like online. It got good reviews. Um, it's strong. I'm feeling it. They're, they're just, it, it's, that's not true. It's 99% fake. Um, if you're not getting growth hormone from your doctor, you're getting fake growth hormone. And your doctor will prescribe it unless your growth, uh, growth hormone levels are like abnormally high from some other medical condition, which, uh, you know, is usually not the case. And a lot of people are afraid of, you know, the injections and the, you know, having to be on something for the rest of your life, but it's a replacement. That's what it is. Um, you know, so you yourself can, you know, ask yourself, which route do you want to take? But having low growth hormone levels and low testosterone levels is not healthy for you. Um, it's not. Just like having too high of growth hormone levels and too high of testosterone levels is not healthy for you. You're going to get side effects. So find a doctor in your area. Um, I'm in the Dallas area. I refer a lot of my clients to a doctor. Um, usually just my clients, I refer to them. That's part of, you know, when you prep with me or hire me, you know, I, I get you a, a doctor that can monitor your blood, make sure you're healthy to even start a diet program, a uh, prep program. And if your hormone levels are low, you know, he'll prescribe what you need. Um, Armonadv.com, check it out um, for prep services. I'm doing a lot more um, normal dieting now also. You know, I, I advertise a lot of prep services, but, um, you know, a lot of normal people, you know, they really need some structure and need a program and need, you know, to, you know, to be told little things that they're not progressing. And a lot of my normal clients fall in low testosterone and growth hormone levels, even the women. So uh, check my site out, armonadb.com. Um, prep clients, I got, I got some new shirts in. I got some red tanks. I got um, these new super thin purple uh, DB Army shirts. Um, I'll be selling them shortly on my site. Or if you're one of my clients or sign up with me, you get a, you know, a t-shirt for free. Take it easy.